everyone it's Pauline from Stamp and Stampede Stamp with Pauline and today I'm going to show you how to make this cute little bag um, it's in the new handmade for you um, mini catalog that has just come out um, it is on page 54 and 55 and these are just some of the ideas that have um, been in the catalog and I'm just going to show you how to make it um, so the bundle is dressed to impress and that's the stamp set and the dies or if you just wish to have the dress to impress stamp set or the all dressed up dies so you get to pick which one you would like. Um, the bundle I do find a little bit easier because you'll be able to mix and match. So when you get your stamps, um, and then you'll also have, um, I put in a little magnetic sheet here. So you're gonna have this, which is the box itself. And then you have all the components to actually finish the box or the bag, um, and then some embellishments as well. So we'll go through that. So what you're going to do with the die is, so it's a piece of A4 very vanilla cardstock and I've cut it in far, into half, so I've now got an A5. You're going to lay on here the die this way and then you're going to put the handle of the bag going this way. So then we're going to run that through um, the big shot now. My magnetic platform is actually kicking back. So, all right, so I'll be back in a sec. I cut my um, very vanilla cardstock. This is um, in A5 size. So take your A4 sheet, cut it directly in half, and then you'll be able to run that through the big shot quite easily. Um, then the catalogue, you'll see one that has been used with the tufted 3D embossing folder. And I've done a little sample here for that. Um, so this little um, die is in the catalogue uh, in the set, and so are the little um, buttons so you can add those to it as well um, so if you do run it through with the 3d embossing folders just be a little bit careful two things don't move the embossing folder when you take it out because then you'll end up with one going one way and one going the other so something I learnt, don't move it <laughs> so that way you can know exactly where to put the next piece in so when I would run this through the big shot I'm going in like that with this piece and then I'm doing exactly the same with the second piece which then means that they'll both be in exactly the same direction so before you run it through the big shot though what you will need to do is just fold um, on those um, score lines first um, just line up the base and then just follow your finger along um, it does make it a little bit easier. Um, I found once it was actually run through um, on the embossing folder, it did make it a little bit harder to see. So now that you've got the two of those and they're all folded um, uh, in the right spot, so you'll have all that. Okay, so what we're going to do now is I've got my um, bag set up with the um, some tear and tape so I'm just going to put some more onto this side here on that edge there okay so what you need to do is I did find if you want the bag to actually pop out the other way don't actually score on that line so what I um, found with this one when I was doing the pop out when I wanted the bag to go the opposite direction don't actually score along that until you've made the decision at the end so just only score along this edge and along this edge so once you've got that just remove this piece of tape and lining up this edge to this edge. The base is probably more important um, than the top. Okay, so once that's on, then remove this part of the tape. And then, so you've got your two pieces now joined like that. And then we're going to bring this around and then it lines up onto there as well well so press that down and then what you're going to do is remove this part of the adhesive as well and then folding that in and then do the same with the other side So 
sorry, I've just realised I put the tape on that side, so I actually need that up first. So you're going to do that. So pop some adhesive onto that one. Alright, so in it goes. And this is the piece that I'm folding in. So one goes in and lines up on that edge. And then this piece comes in and lines up on that edge. And then remove the other piece of adhesive and then fold that down. So this way, as I said, you've actually now um, got the option now to squeeze the bag in the opposite direction um, to make it go that way. Or you can actually, what I found, if you're doing it um, coming inwards, just sort of start your finger here and here. And as you squeeze, gently pry those two edges and then they'll all line up like that so that's how you actually put the box together and then what we're going to do is add the handles and um, we'll do that on the pattern paper in a minute when we come back so that's your two options so this one I'm doing today, this is the one that I've done, did yesterday, um, and I just did a simple decoration just showing how the actual die goes together. <clears throat> uh, this one here I'm doing is the, um, I'm going to make it into a backpack, and for that I'm going to be using the um, paper that comes in one of the um, all-inclusive kits that we have. I think it's an all-inclusive kit. Um, so I'm going to link all of that up together. And I've also got some handles to go with it, um, which are these long strips that come in here. A tip with the handles, just get your bone folder and give it a swipe that breaks the fibres up, which then means you'll be able to manipulate the handle a little bit easier. So just do that. Okay, so we're back and we've assembled the box and so what we've got here, you can have a couple of different options. You can have the bag um, open like this and then you can have your straps going um, a couple of different ways. So you could have it going that way or you could have it going over the back. Um, so it's really entirely up to you which way you want the bag or the handles to be put on. So now that we've got this, and because I'm doing it as a backpack, I'm actually going to have these pieces just folded in. So that's my bag. Now there's a couple of different ways that you can decorate the front of the box as well. And the perfume bottle will also then act as a clasp to come across over the back of the bag. So that's the back and that's the front and you would just need to stick something on that to stick that down maybe a magnet or a um, piece of velcro so that would be one way of doing that um, the other option you do have is this label that's in there um, in the dies as well so you can actually bring that over I would break that with the um, the fibers break the fibers with the bone folder because otherwise you'll end up with a fold on there so then you've got that option of having the handbag close that way as well and then you can decorate the front so you've got that so what we're going to now do is just use some Tombow glue and we're going to just stick the straps in so it does take a few minutes just for them to to dry so we'll just hold that down into there and then the same with the other side so just pop some glue onto that you can also use your um, tear and tape it doesn't matter which way you want it to go so just pop that into there like that and then once they're on what you'll do is you'll get the buckles that come in the dies as well and this makes four of them so you can thread them through the cardstock so they're on like so and then you're going to pop some adhesive on the back and then bring that buckle down to the back and then just hold that there for a sec and I always find it helpful to have just a baby wipe or the chamois or something um, here with you at the time so that you can um, get your hands they will get a bit sticky so hold that on to there and then grab the other one and do the same. I find with this die it's new because it's coming off with little bits of fibre, but that's okay. So thread that through. 
and then add some adhesive all over that and then whoops, get down there onto there onto there and then just pat that off and there we have our backpack handles attached to our bag and then all we have to do is decorate the front or I might actually just put a little clasp on the bag like so so I might actually just put the and I've got some little um, self-adhesive magnets that I will stick to that so I'm going to just pop that there and I've also punched out um, one of the larger buttons so you get the um, the four buttons in the in the set and I'm going to now attach that to the top of there so you will need a paper piercer just to get rid of any of the bits that don't come out in the die and then we'll just stick that onto there and then you can add also some twine or something like that as well.